Welcome everyone. This is the Pete and Allison Adventure Palison Podcast, Episode One. So, how are you doing, baby? Good. How are you? It's exciting. It is exciting. We are uh, going to document all our uh, vacations, all our adventures, um, and we're doing a weekly podcast to demonstrate and ex- express our lively lives. So uh, let's just uh, let's get down to some of the topics I've got here. And we're going to start right away here with uh, the importance of date night. As a married couple, we've been married for five years. We just had our five year anniversary, mm-hmm. and you got to keep you got to keep it uh, hot, not hot, but well, just interesting, interesting, right? right? So Alice and I make sure to. Uh, have a date night every every couple of weeks, and uh, it doesn't have to be super fancy. He's for... lying. We're just starting this now. I don't know. We were in a bit of a funk, like not going out. We became like takeout hermits. So well, I said we need to start going out. A month ago, we went to uh, Steakhouse. What was it called? The Blue and the Black, Black and the Blue. Black and Blue. Black and Blue. Yeah. And we got some Wagyu dinner. beef, which was like seven thousand dollars, but that was a fancy date. We also spent about seven thousand dollars at Red Lobster last night. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, anyhow, Red Lobster is an awesome date. It is so good you want to take a special maybe gummy before you go or a substance that helps you eat by all means take it and then go to red lobster and it makes it a lot more fun so yeah we hit up red lobster last night before that then what do we do babe we went um on a special trip to a place i'd never been before uh the reservation six nations reservation Six nations reservation why did we go there though we went there for uh, some products that they don't sell so for instance which ones with there needs to be a backstory well, let's, here let's, what did let's you just... stop here new year's <laughs> resolutions do you have new year's resolutions baby? no because i'm already perfect oh fair enough well i made some my first one was i had a bad habit i was a vapor a long time ago i was a smoker stopped that habit got to vaping turns out vaping is almost as expensive almost as expensive just as annoying so I had to cut it out. So yeah, of course, I had to cheat, and I've got nicotine patches That's in. Disgusting. But on the reserve, they sell all sorts of nicotine pouches. They do not here in Ontario until this March, I believe they're coming out. They have the first brand um, called Zy- Zyclones, I think, are out. But you can also get Zins are the popular ones on the reserve. And there's a few other brands. So I will be making a return trip. Unfortunately, we had a blizzard. And it was brutal here in Ontario, Canada. Burlington, uh, Hamilton in particular. uh, Near Caledonia, near the reserve. We were going, what, 25? It was like whiteout conditions. I had to stop driving. and We had to switch it up. Yeah, because her eyes are better than mine. So yeah, the reserve was fun. Um, Gas was super cheap. We filled up. Yeah. Uh, so that's a good thing to do. Um, yeah. And then after that, we watched the UFC. Well, you want to pull up the UFC, babe, on your phone? Oh, yeah, Let's yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. some of those fights. Uh, it was a good card. First card of the year. First card of January. Um, it was in at the Apex in Vegas. And it was UFC what? What number was it? Um, here's where I get a bit confused because they're yeah, just I, calling it, well, they call it Fight Night, but fi- then they fight call night it what? like UFC Vegas, but it just doesn't give me the number Well, let's on call here. it Fight Night and Kalia versus Walker 2. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let's start from the top. So, and versus M- Megam, how do you say it? Magomedov. Ma- Megamedov, Magomedov. Um, and Kalia versus Johnny Walker in the lead heavyweight division, 205. This was for number one contender uh, spot. And, uh, and Kalia has been really right on the border there to get his title shot. He had a fight first with, um, he, al- he already fought Johnny Walker, and it was called a no contest that stemmed from an illegal knee that uh, Ankalaev threw. Um, 
And when the doctor checked Johnny Walker, he asked where he was, and he said, in the desert. And I guess that wasn't an, ad an adequate answer, even though they were in the desert. Um, I guess you could have said in the octagon, you could have said in, uh, I don't know where they were, Saudi Arabia or whatever. It was a strange answer. Yeah. So they, they did the rematch, and six foot six, 205 pounds, sculpted like a Greek, Greek god, Johnny Walker. He's a physical specimen. He's I huge. thought he was going to win. I met him. He's huge. He, he ta yeah, he was like Whoa. twice the size of her. I'm like a not giant. Tall. Like he and stands out like head this much and taller shoulders than, over taller the rest of the me. crowd. Right away, you can see him everywhere. Big dude. Yeah. He's getting better. He's fighting out of Ireland, out of uh, uh, John uh, Sean Kavanaugh's camp, uh, SPG Ireland, um, where Conor McGregor's out of. And I actually thought he was going to win the fight, but he... Showed the inexperience. The fight was all stand up. Second round, he got caught with a kind of like an overhand hook, and then a follow through uppercut right to the nose, busted his nose over in the second. Ankle is getting the next title shot. That'll be ver be against Alex Pereira, and I think that's an easy fight for Ankle If he takes that to the ground, we have a new champion, another Russian champion. We need more Russian champions because. Peter Yon's not a champion anymore. Um, and we know that these Dagestanis, these uh, Chechens, dominate. they're dominating. So, uh, second fight of the card. Jim Miller and Gabriel Benitez. Yeah. I didn't see this. I fell asleep. Well, Jim Miller put on a clinic. He is 42 years old, I believe. I think thrice we tried to rewatch this, and I fell asleep every time. Might and be, I'm sad. I really want to see it. He might be younger than 42, babe. Uh, he might be only 39 or 40. I think he's 40. He has 42 UFC fights. He has the most wins and the most fights in the UFC. Incredible. Fighting at lightweight, 155. He's going to have another fight at UFC 300. He's been on UFC 100, 200. And Jim Miller's going to be on UFC 300. He's going to fight up at 170, that I possibly. I secretly want to go to so bad. Yeah. Oh, I want to go to it. It's in March. Speaking about UFC, some of the events that we're going to be doing this year, what are we doing next week? Oh, a big fancy date. UFC in yes. Toronto. And we have a special ticket. UFC, VIP. Toronto, UFC's back. We're seeing Sean Strickland versus Duplessis. Yeah, uh, Duplessis. He's on like a six fight streak i think yeah He's good Be i think we're gonna see that belt change hands see i disagree i i, I see sean uh weathering the storm and i see sean winning in the third fourth or fifth by tko but i, I think could Sean's also gonna get caught the way that uh Poetan caught him and uh, just roll a kick to the chin and that's the danger off. so um watching eric nixon sean's trickling coach they were talking a lot about Sean's, he's got that Philly shell, and it's a weird Philly shell because he, he, he does the Philly shell. How does he do it? Yeah, he blocks his body and fights like this. Yeah. But, and it, but it's like opposite, I think. I don't think it's the traditional Philly shell. Anyhow, he does this a lot. He leans back. And with those overhands coming mm -hmm. from a very bona fide, big middleweight, in Dricus Duplessis. Mm. If one of those bombs catches Sean, he could go down. I agree. But I am still leaning towards Sean's good chin and good coaching and his will to win. So we're split on this. Let's see what happens. Well, I like Sean Strickland too, and I hope he wins only because I think the crowd's going to be a, a Strickland crowd, and it would be exciting to see yeah, him a, win with the crowd behind him. But I'm totally wrong. And Raquel Pennington is fighting. I forget the other girl's name. But uh, there's very few girls in that 135 I've heard pound, the rest of the card 145 except for, pound. Except for um, the people that you know from the gym. Yeah, and then we've got BTC, Burlington Training Center's own, uh, Mike Malott and Surrey, I don't know, Surrey CD. Yeah. yeah, fighting. Surrey won his fight on the Contender Series. He's fighting the same guy because it was kind of an early stoppage. We'll be cheering these guys on. Surrey's incredible young fighter, huge bantamweight. And then Mike Malai, you guys all know, is an incredible welterweight. Um, both nice guys. They both help me out at the gym all the time. Uh, I get to train with them. Uh, my claim to fame is I rolled with Surrey like three years ago, and he didn't top me out. So uh, I'm never rolling with him again because, uh, yeah, because he's going to top me out. So I just hold that, hold on to that one. 
But I uh, know they're great guys, always helping out. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just finish up this card here. We had Ricky Simone versus uh, Mario Batista. That was a great fight. Batista is a tall uh, bantamweight, and uh, he put on a clinic. He was just, the output was too much. And Ricky stayed in the fight somehow, tough as nails. Phil Hawes versus Bruno oh, Ferreira, another one. Brazilian. Ooh. Phil Hawes is a physical specimen, a beast. And Bruno Ferreira is a very small, I think this is a welterweight, this fight? Middleweight, sir. Middleweight. is a very small middleweight. Like, he's got to be like 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", max. Um, he's built up, but he's not huge like Phil Hawes. But he has bombs in his hands. He has bricks in his hands, hits hard, scrambles hard. He's got a judo background. It was a very entertaining fight. And he got the win, surprisingly. Then we have Andre Arlowski versus Waldo Cortez Acosta. Arlowski, he is 42 years old, I believe. He might even be 44. Heavyweight division, a little different. Still, he's changed his fighting style. Amazing. He lost pretty close decision. All he had to do was throw one-twos down the pipe. He had the height and reach advantage, but he was he was punching through. He wasn't throwing straight one-twos. He was throwing weird shots, but that's what he had to do to win, and he just wasn't throwing his one-twos. A straight down the middle would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Arlossi, he, he's a legend, but he lost decision. And then we had a couple canceled fights. That's all the important fights on that fight card. So UFC next weekend, we will do our podcast after that. Let you know how it goes. Um, so we're just gonna keep talking, guys. We got some topics, and we're gonna do this every week. It is called we're the Grammar Police. What grinds my gears? And Allison, you brought this one up, or you said it. Yeah. What is the term? How do people say this? That really just—it's not right. It's not right. You hear it so often, though. They'll say, oh, I seen it the other day, or I seen this guy, or I seen this and that. I seen, not I have seen. I seen. I've, uh, yeah. I seen. It's it, not, it's not it sounds trashy, grammar. guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. But we it's all not, say it. We all, no, I don't say it, but some people say a it. A lot of people say you it. You don't say it. I throw it out there I once seen. in a while, but I'm just Guys, let's lazy. get away from that. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound like we're intellectual people. You would say, oh, did you see that crazy guy yeah. the other day? Oh, yeah, I saw him, or I've Past seen tense. him before. There you go. I know go. who you're speaking of. So let's let, let's cut that out. No more icing. No, it's not good. Not good at all. All right. So uh, something I wanted to discuss was uh, I been was talking to a guy at the gym, and he's uh, planning on moving off the grid. He is going to, you know, he, told, he basically said it's impossible to do this without some resources. So you have to have some money. But uh, more and more people with this inflation, with these taxes, with the inability to buy a home even with a dual income uh, earning, you know, a young couple, you can't buy a home. So unless you have affluent parents, you know, it's it's unfair. It's, it's ridiculous. And uh, more and more people are doing things like this. And Allison and I have discussed not moving off the grid, but moving somewhere hot, maybe in 10 years. Uh, and you see people doing, they're converting vans into living spaces, RVs into living spaces. That would be something pretty cool to do. Um, I would love to just drive down to Florida uh, you know, East Coast, to West Coast, all the way to California, you know, you get through Nevada, Arizona, mm-hmm. uh, all those states, you know, Louisiana and all, all the southern <laughs> states. I would love to live there. That's something we might do in the future. So uh, we'll wait and see. We'll see. You said that to me once. I would send you some crazy travel reels or something and you're I, enough i don't want to see any more i already know i'm gonna end up driving around the country in some beat up old winnebago with you just to make you happy so yeah 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 you are, you that, that's know. how marriage goes you already guys. know well it won't be so bad because i've got rain nodes where my fingers go white in the cold so he can't survive in this cold climate it's he's too just not cold. cut out for it he'll he'll never he'll never last the rest of the winters what else are we talking about? Well, 
It's funny, I said pronounces. Let's just get it out of the way and done with. I don't know what that one is. I'm not sure what that is. Speaking about my hair, guys. (laughs) Yeah, I'm 38 years old and I've dyed my hair blonde. Should I do it again? I did it twice. They kind of messed it up. They messed up your cut and it's just your, your... Your full head bleach is growing out, so it's not quite a frosted tip. It's just yeah. grow out, but I so think you've gotten used to this. In the blonde. comments, do you know. like the hair? Should I do it again, or should I go back to the dark brown? I think keep it dark for winter, and then we will we can bleach it again uh, uh, next summer. Bleach it again for um, UFC. Oh, I would have bleached it for a uh, trip coming up in February, but unfortunately I can't go due to work purposes. So where are you going in February, babe? Well, I'm going on our beautiful romantic trip to Antarctica, which is for my special birthday. Wow. Um, and when he told me that he couldn't go, it had already kind of come on the heels of some other bad news that we'd gotten. And I know he was trying to just sort of soften the blow, and I had to really kind of pretend that it wasn't the worst news because um, it was a trip that my sister and I had always kind of talked about doing and I had a little bit of guilt that I wasn't doing it with her. So like I said before, coming off of a bit of bad news, it felt really good to be able to say to her, hey, like, can you get, you know, all this time off work on a somewhat last minute notice for an all expenses paid trip? And she writes back, yes. Will seek new employment if need be. So that's the kind yeah. of travel friend you need. Someone who will quit their job to go on a crazy last minute trip. So where are you going first? Uh, well, we fly first to Buenos Aires, Argentina. And we connect with um, uh, our sort of travel group there. And then from Buenos Aires, we fly charter down to the southern tip of Argentina, which is where we board the ships which is going to take us to antarctica and we will be there for we'll be on the boat for 11 days so it'll be a pretty big adventure gonna be a cool trip and we travel a ton so we'll be documenting all this um Mm -hmm. we'll be uploading our iceland trip our costa rica trip so we will keep all all you we'll keep you guys in the loop with all of that and that's gonna be it guys that's our first podcast it's gonna be pete and allison's adventures we're going to talk about things. We're going to talk about relationship issues. But they're, we're going to keep it short and sweet for now. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys soon.